Uh, really quick, kind of related to this. So most of you said actually body count does matter. We often hear on the show that body count shouldn't matter. Uh, what's your body count? Well, I'm going to be shamed for this. Um, so I'm just going to pre-defend myself and say that I was, this was when I was between the ages of 18 to 22. I don't do this anymore, but I really thought that if I slept with You were men, young and impressionable. I thought that they would love me if I gave them the pee. So it didn't work out that way. <laughs> Anyways, so it's 45. Zero? I lose. Zero. I think look back on that and now make the change. Like, don't let that be you anymore. And and that's what I have done. But then I guess that's why I said, like, I I don't think body count should matter because it sucks that I would be judged for that when I'm, I am a very loyal person, you know, and I don't want to sleep around because it yeah. felt awful. Yeah, so make the so changes. That's, yeah. Body count? Say huh? Body what's your notch count? count? What's your, what's your body count? I'm not going to say. Huh? I'm not gonna say. Oh, I'm no, not gonna say. That's fine. Because no one of the things is that, sure, a number is based, but if a girl is so easy to say her body count, then it's either doubled or probably a little bit less. But that's just me. That's those red pill guys again, <laughs> just doubling up everything, mm -hmm. right? Right. I'd rather not answer. All right. My mom's watching, but it's, it's <laughs> uh, my mom. It's not now. Below it's five. Late. Below five. Below, okay, below five. Uh, allegedly zero. It's zero. It's zero. Allegedly. Uh, allegedly. Oh man. Uh, Into the mic. Your mom is watching. My mom, my dad, and like half my church is watching. <laughs> half the church. Yeah. Oh wow. They so, forgive. They forgive you. And also, you know, I've already shared a lot about my past, and I agree with what that other girl said when she was on like out of respect for my future husband i feel like that's something that should be kept private fair enough okay do you think that girls with tattoos are more promiscuous than girls with no tattoos <laughs> yes. i mean i don't know i have a tattoo i'm not that promiscuous you have a tattoo? Do you think so? I would, well, I according think to the red pill, I'm a slut, so, yeah. You're a slut. Is that a fraternity tattoo? Can no, I see it again? That's my oh. family. Oh, okay, sorry. I didn't, I didn't get a good look at it. <laughs> fraternity. I don't know. I just took fraternity. a little quick Do I look like a guy that's in the, yeah, the rock star 20s, you know? <laughs> um, Justin Waller, how face? What? Body What's count? your notch count, dude? I He's, truly don't know. He, he forgot. He's a man of God. He forgot after um, him. Pray every night. Well, that's actually a good question, Rolo, when it, when it comes to tattoos. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you have a tattoo? I don't have any tattoos. You're not slow. Yeah. Fortunate. You don't uh, have any? Zero tattoos, tattoos right? besides yeah. tramp stamp. I have none. You, you see that also. comment right there? Tattoos on women are linked to abuse. It's, it's a red flag. I disagree. Uh, you disagree? Yeah, I call bullshit on that, too. Like, I don't super judge a girl with tattoos. <laughs> I think it depends <laughs> on I, where they are and what's, what they I'm are. I'm really curious on how you think on that oh, before I answer. Um, I love chicks with tattoos. I don't really oh. care that much. Um, I think that people uh, have really bad tattoos, and those ones. Yes, don't get are Bart bad. Simpson on the side of your thigh. That's that's do, do a good rule Bart, of thumb. Do you have Bart Simpson? No. <laughs> But yeah, I don't go to Walmart and look at girls who have like what like big fat girls with shorts on and they'll have like random tattoos all over their legs that yeah, that's definitely I saw red this one with like a like a boat on her thigh and like you know how like they get older and it's saggy a and it boat? looks like like a sinking <laughs> boat. A boat. <laughs> so you agree that women can hit the wall? Oh wow, okay. What? I mean everybody I think she read your book. At, like, Yo, man, we need to stand up for women right now. Bro. Whether this you're is a ridiculous. guy or whether you're a girl, we, need to stand we up for always these ladies, hit a wall. Bro, We're gonna be, should we be the feminists? Should Seriously. we be the devil's advocates? Seriously. 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 No, let's not repeal the 19th. Stop it, ladies. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Going too far. Uh, okay, we uh, hold on. We have one more thing here. We have to. We have two more things we have to react to. Wait, we have to ask the girls if they have any other questions for us because we only got to her. Oh uh, yeah, we <laughs> yeah we didn't. Uh, well, so one that I guess, and I would like to try to wrap up here soon. So, one of the questions asked is if there's anything dating related you want to get off your chest, or if you have a final thought, I'd like to open it up to anybody who wants to kind of get in here at the end, opening it up to. Actually, I do have a question for them. When do you think is the right time to have sex? Like, how many dates in order for a man to still respect you? Mm. Three. You guys go ahead. I don't three. Have any answers. Okay. Three. At least three. Three strikes. It's, a, it's a, the three strike rule. 
more okay. or less. Put it this way, in, within three dates, you should know if that woman has genuine desire enough to want to have sex with you, put it mm -hmm. that way. And it's, it's, uh, it's not that that's like a, a deadline or a criteria, I'm just saying that within, uh, actually I think I've got it in my first book, as a matter of fact, that the, it's basically the same three strike rule that everybody's been using for forever, but it's meant to determine genuine desire, not necessarily like, I I would like to get with, if, if there's like religious like convictions between uh, the man and the woman, and that's already pre-established, it should still be within three dates to know that like, you know what, I would probably want to have sex with you really, really bad if it were not for our, our convictions between the two of us. I've actually, people don't want to read that part of my, you know, that paragraph in my book, but um, because they think that when I talk about like, um, what is it, uh, Iron Rule Tomasi number three, which is, uh, you know, any time a woman makes you wait for sex, uh, the sex is never worth the wait. People think that that means I'm trying to encourage guys to go and have like you know, wanton sex with like loose women. That's not what it is. It's to determine genuine desire. So within three dates, you should be able to determine whether or not she's going to flake on you or she's really into you or she has some, some other mitigate. She's got another guy you know, that she's hoping was gonna pan out and she's putting you on ice because if it doesn't work out with him, then you're gonna, she'll go up with, with you, right? You're like this, you're like this consolidation pri or consolation but prize. I think she, she's asking about from her standpoint, how, how many days should she Oh, win? should you yeah. personally? I would, yeah. I would say the same thing, three. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. the thing is just gonna be more, like just to be more discerning, right? It's mm -hmm. like, I, I, I empathize with your situation because I, like I said, I coach dudes and I see how fucked mm -hmm. up they are. And I like, this is what you guys gotta choose from? God damn, that sucks, man. Yeah. I get that, like, trust me, I do. And then when I you know, have these questions, like you said before, you know, you're kind of talking your book about you, you know what your body count was. Uh, and then so that's going to be held against you. And I feel bad for that, too. I totally understand. I, I think in the end, the, the, the real answer is just to be discerning. You know what I'm saying? And and um, and to still at the same time work on yourself and understand, like the statistics are statistics. I'm, I'm usually the one arguing the opposite side of this point. Mm -hmm. But just because there's one study that says that 17 percent of the time a woman is going to stay happy in a relationship after she's had more than 20 sexual partners, that's mm -hmm. still 17 percent of women that still are happy after 20 sexual partners. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So. Uh, yeah, man, it's it's rough. Uh, but that's the that's the other thing is like, this is what this is what my best advice would be. Are you turned on either? Are you going to sleep with this guy because you need validation, or because he's just lighting you up like a blowtorch and he's love bombing you, or whatever? Is that why you're doing it, or you're doing it because you legitimately can see you're just like, or you're ignoring red flags, or you're doing it because you can legitimately legitimately see a future with this dude? If you can, then you know three dates or however, or how you know what I'm saying that's that that would be the thing. Now, if you make this dude wait six months, the the problem is this, yeah. right? If you make a guy wait like ten dates or six months or whatever he has so few boundaries that eventually you're not gonna be attracted to him. Does that make sense? Because mm -hmm. if then the, the, this same guy comes to me and Rollo and be like, hey man, I like this girl. She's mm -hmm. been with 45 dudes and she's making me wait 10 dates. We'd be like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. You're, you see what I'm and saying? And they'll do it too. So they'll stick around yeah. because you're yeah. their only option yeah. and they're like, you know, I know if I just but when you, say the right thing or do the right thing, I'm gonna get in there. When you recognize you're his only option, you're not gonna be that attracted to him. I'm sorry, man. It's just not the way supply and demand works. Right, so I mean, but let me tell you something, ladies. I do feel, bro. I see these dudes. Like I, I feel like it's it's been so. When I got older, when I turned the age of forty, I remember having an easier time meeting women because my competition is Takashi Six Nine and fucking Machine Gun Kelly. Like that's who I have to I have to compete with dudes who wear pink dresses and like that's not really much competition. I'm not trying to brag. There's nothing special about me. It's just man, I just saw this lack of masculinity just sucked out of this dating marketplace with men who had never bench pressed 200 pounds, been a fucking fight, played football, any of these like basic things that I went through, the teasing and the razzing that happened, these dudes will report me on fucking Instagram if I say bad words to them now. Like I cannot believe these men that I that you guys have to pick from. And I feel bad, dude, I legitimately yeah. I do. So don't think that I, I don't empathize with the situation. Women, women would rather share an alpha guy than to be saddled with a beta loser. Yeah, I think liberals are the problem, bro. I that's a bit of a broad statement. <laughs> yeah, when, when, do we get, when do we get Alex Jones over here with our own fucking show? That's what I, I want to say. I just think that. I just think, yeah, I think you're absolutely honestly, right. Honestly, I don't, think it's, I don't think it's right or left or political or anything to do with that. I just think it's a, the way that we have sort of acculturated like multiple generations of guys since the sexual revolution. Whether that's Republic, I, you know what? I can I can make the same arguments against uh, conservatives that I can with with uh, you know liberal leftists as well. It's just they what is it uh, you know uh, trad cons are just progressives driving the speed limit. They're just doing they're just doing what they think is right, 
and the guys on the right are just as weesh as the guys on the left right now. So, and that's the problem. When, when, when Justin's here and we're talking about like how he's going to have the pick of the litter and women are more than willing to share him, we're getting to a default situation where women, would, because they'll share, that becomes polygamy. This one guy gets, gets many, many women and it's not because he's trying to, or polygyny, he's not the one initiating this, it's because he's the best option and women are more than, whether they're consciously doing it or not, he's the best option to, to wait out. I hope if I can get with him, that if I do this, then he'll want to stay with me. He'll, it'll be closed on both our ends. We'll live happily ever after because he's just, he's the apex. Well, what Mike is just saying right here is the competition is so low right now that yeah, he's the default choice. The guy who's the apex alpha becomes the default choice. So you have the state of, uh, of polygyny, I guess, um, where it's one man and many women, but it's initiated by women because their only selection are the one that they want to get with. They don't need a man for long-term security because they've already taken care of that. So they don't need a man, but they want a man. What's the man that they want? Well, this guy. They want Jason Momoa. They want the guy who's going to be the good sexual experience for them. And then other guys who are the lesser men, they complain about him because he ruined my girlfriend. He ruined the girl that, uh, that now I'm married to and my life is a living hell because she can't get over that guy. Word. Um, you have anything to say? I, I have to. I have to announce something really quick, and I need to apologize to uh, somebody here. He rated us on Twitch. He's a awesome. uh, he's a Chad gamer. His name's Peyo Frederick in Canada. Um, Eric, I don't know if you're Eric. I need you to pull it up. Um, I don't know if you. I think it was the last podcast we reacted to Peyo. We reacted to that Twitch clip of him with the keyboard, and then we reacted to his. We pulled up his Instagram. So if you go to Insta <coughs> Instagram.com. I just, he raided us on Twitch and I'd missed it, which is like really bad f form on Twitch. I, I apologize. We, our primary stream platform is YouTube, so we missed it on Twitch. So my bad, Fred, Arik. Uh, so pull up his Instagram just so we can shout him out. And then we're going to have the girls react, see if he would date him. And then if you recall, recall that Twitch clip we reacted to, um, I don't know how you're going to find it, to be honest. Okay. Try to find it. It's a Payo, pay a y o o w o w. Yo, Victor, thank you, man. Victor donated two hundred and ten dollars. Forgot to read what's the trigger for TTS. But now I don't really have a message. Just sorry to disappoint my co-house Slytherin colleague. You, I am wearing a Slytherin T-shirt as a father of two happily married. Yo, Victor, thank you for the uh, big 210 donation there through Streamlabs. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you for the TTS. Uh, yeah, uh, forgot to read what's the trigger for TTS. Oh, I think maybe you sent one earlier that at a lower threshold. Yeah. In any case, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it.